Hi and welcome to Tevro with FM. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get DOSBox working on your computer. Firstly, simple Google DOSBox and you'll come to this website. It's open source software, so absolutely no problems there. Head into the download section, find your operating system. So I run on Windows, so I should be choosing that any second now. You come through to this uh, Source Forge website. Uh, we don't like cookies, so don't accept them. Uh, your download will happen in a few seconds, so you wait it out. It should appear somewhere at the bottom. So this is just the DOS, DOSBox installer. So click on that, you go through, you click through. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again, but just click through basically, let it save wherever you want it to. All that kind of standard stuff. As you can see, when you start typing DOSBox, you get a number of options. The one you'll want to start using is no console. This will open up DOSBox itself and we'll be able to play some games on it very shortly with any luck. Back in Google, if you want to find a certain game, the best place to go is probably My Abandonware. This is where a lot of old DOS and Window and Amiga games are stored. It's a pretty cool website, you can play a lot of things in the browser and you can download them to your computer so you can even see things like the old championship manager there as well which is pretty cool uh, the top download section so you can see what games are popular uh, nice and nostalgic basically back at the top I've already searched for ultimate soccer manager so that's what we'll be doing now this is how to get ultimate soccer manager working so there's three different versions ultimate soccer manager 1, 2 and 98.99 we are going to be focusing on USM 2, um, I can't get USM 9899 working because it's for Windows rather than DOS but you can click into it, you can either download it or play in the browser, you can even save it if you play in the browser which is awesome we have downloaded it uh, recently so I'm not going to press that again when you download it, it comes into your downloads folder just as a, I've got it as a WinRAR but whatever you use for your zipping functions I suppose but once you double click into it, obviously you can extract it somewhere. So I'll show you where I've extracted it to. So what you want to do is you want to make a folder in C called DOS Games. Uh, just call it DOS Games, all one word. And then say make another file with whatever game you've got. So I've called it USM2 and then dump all the files into there. And you can see there's a number of files there. Um, that's just how you get onto the game really. So in order to play it, you then go back into your no console DOS box. You type in, well, I've zoomed in really good, right? Uh, mount C, then C colon backslash, and then it's called DOS games, which is the name of the folder where we put the games in the first place. You then want to type C colon, and then CD, and then the name of the folder where all your files are that you're going to be using. So CD USM2 and the name of the executable uh, document type, whatever you want to call it, file, that's it. So f to find that out, what you want to do is just go into the file of the game that you're looking for. Good thing to do is probably just filter it by type, I'd imagine. I think I end up doing that because I can't remember which one it is. It's not one of these ones though. So if you filter it by type and then you look for a Windows batch file, I believe it is. So it should be right at the bottom. Keep going, Ed. Yeah, Windows batch file. So it just looks like an executable file. So it's called underscore USM2 and that will launch the game. Simple as that. If you have enjoyed that, please do smash a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Any more instructions needed, then please do let me know and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.